right, trending just lovers, let's talk some politics. All right, so Pastor Poju Poju, Akaramo, Imbiala, Popo Green. Don't even say I don't know how to sing that song. <laughs> All right, trending just lovers, welcome back to my channel, Arminio Girl Octavia Cora. All right, so Pastor Boju Oyamide has spoken, and people are feeling like he is throwing shirts at the presidential aspirant, Peter Ob. All right, so this is what he tweeted out, and uh, the fans are not having it. So let's read this together. All right, so Pastor Boju said. Number one, faith is not just blind belief or hoping for miracle. Faith sees. Faith has her eyes open and possesses the evidence upon which it builds its belief. Faith prepares long, sometimes for years, just as Joseph did for years of famine. Faith counts the cost before embarking. Number two, Without having real evidence upon which you are acting, no preparation for the task, recognizing real obstacles that lies ahead and making concrete plans, one is just being delusional about the outcome. The enthusiasm of the youth must not be wasted on poorly planned projects. Hmm. Shade. Number three. Noah spent months slash years planning for the flood and he was operating in faith. Jesus said no man goes to battle without uh, taking stock first nor lay the foundation of a tower without counting the cost first lest he will be mocked. Our faith is intelligent. It doesn't live in denial. So... After people read this tweet, people just felt like, okay, Pastor Boju, Boju Boju, Pastor Boju Boju, is this for Peter Obi? Are you saying that Peter Obi didn't plan this? Are you saying Peter Obi is not prepared? Are you saying that Peter Obi didn't save funds and has no plan? So for that reason, the youths should not waste their vote on someone that um, is poorly planned, according to you or doesn't even have a plan but hmm, this actually backfired and as i'm telling you it is said that pastor Boju Boju has gone back to delete his tweet because a lot of people were quick to you know call him out and people were saying that he's trying to um convince the youth to vote for the people that he has in mind. Now, we do not know if it is Atiku or it is Tinibu because it is obvious that the Nigerian uh, 2023 um, election is around the corner and the top people right now is Tinibu and uh, you also have Atiku. And then the youths are really, really calling out for Peter Obi. So these three persons... So some persons are insinuating that it seemed like Pastor Boju Adeyemi at Ayomi Day, I mean Adeyemi, Pastor Boju Oyomi Day is kind of calling for people to vote for Tinibu, uh, and the youth are like, no, 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 don't worry, don't stress yourself, we're ready to waste our votes on Peter Obi. Whatever you decide, that is your choice. I don't think anybody should be saying somebody didn't plan. So for that reason, you shouldn't vote for the person. I think votes are something that you decide who, do you, who you think will serve your country better and who you think is going to do uh, good, who is going to move the country forward. Okay, the, the, progress, the progress of the people. Who is that person? Who is that candidate that has the, the people, the masses in mind? So, Pastor... Boju, please relax and let people vote whoever they want to vote. 